Hi and welcome to Grandad Shed. Today you're inside because I'm looking at my home heating controller. It's um, decided to not illuminate all of the characters on the LCD display. So you can see that it's 20 something in here. The, the two is still partially visible as is the date. Uh, if you just touch the display slightly, see the side of the five there comes and goes, as do some of the other characters on the other side. So I think the interface to the edge of the display has um, been thermally cycled too much and some of the contacts are broken. The way these displays work is there's a driver chip on the back of the glass and that outputs the waveforms. Um, well, it's not on the back of the glass, it's not attached to the glass. It's on a circuit board mounted closely to the glass and there's a flexi connector around the end. And that carries all of the lines and each segment has two wires going to it. And if they're driven, clocked in phase or out of phase determines whether you see it as a light or a dark segment. So I'm going to take apart the thermostat and see if we can gain any access into it and understand what's going on. So. CMS 927B1049 model wireless Honeywell thermostat. We have to move that so the switch drops through the hole. So this will be a serial interface plus power for the LED for the backlight. Now to try and remove the protective plastic shell from the motherboard. So this is the connector header and this is the main glass driver chip hiding under here. Now in order to free this off, you need to extract the board here. And the way they've retained it is by using the melted plastic trick. Cutting that piece of melted plastic on the back there means that the board is now free to lift out. It couldn't come out the other end because there's a retaining lip on the glass. So the line of the glass here is longer than the PCB and there is a slot in the clear plastic which catches that on that shoulder. Now with the plastic out of the way, we can begin inspecting the fold round header. So this will be soldered on, or pressed on, or glued on, and I suspect that's where my connectivity issue is. Okay, 
Okay, we're set up on a glass here, so we can see as I move this flexi connector, we can cause this, the display to go on and off. So, a little bit of tension, it comes and goes. So I think it says room temperature upside down there. Um, the only bit I really care about is the temperature. Um, here we are at the toaster. done. I don't know how well it's showing up but the screen is looking quite cooked. I don't know if I went too far. I'll come back in a couple of minutes. That's cooled down now. And the screen has returned mostly to this silver colour. It's lost its blackness from where the clamp is squeezing it, possibly too tight. I uh, made a piece of packing that's got flat on two sides to press the connector more onto the circuit board down that tunnel so have I completely destroyed it or is it going to still work for us progress, no progress or partial progress. Get that back on there. Oh. Well, that <laughs> looks like a full house. Time to rebox it and hopefully I don't break any other connections again. I don't know how possible this is going to be for both of us to be involved. Well, that's gone and uh, remangled the top edge. I wonder if that's popped it all off in an unsatisfying manner. I think I want to check that again. To putting it back in the box. Yeah, I think we're we're still good.
click, 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 click. Slidey worky, good. We are back in business. Um, so, back on there. And that on there. Thanks for watching.